Aries, Aries, what is going on? <laughs> the return of Batman Fat Man for my Aries. Y'all know Batman Fat Man is especially for Aries. <laughs> Y'all already know. Hey, look, he's like, what's up, Pop? Huh? What's going on? What's going on, Aries? All right, respect the Batman Fat Man. What's going on, player? We just going to let you sit up here and chill a little bit. What's going on? Aries. What's poppin', baby? It is Scorpion Red Zero. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed. To see what's going on with you guys for the month of May 2019. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video. Thank you guys so much for stepping in the place. Showing your beautiful face. Shout out to everybody in the chat. What's going on, baby? What's going on, all right? Look, so, if there's anyone who would like to book a reading with me with Scorpion Reds Tarot. Only thing you got to do is click that about tab. All right, you need to book and then link me up. So book and then link. So the way that you do that, there is a hyperlink there that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as simply book me again. It says Scorpion Reds Tarot as simply book me. Go ahead on there, book the reading that you want, then double back on over here to my YouTube page on that about tab right under that booking link. You will see my Instagram link. Okay. Go ahead and click that and send me a message on Instagram and we'll connect there on that date and time that you booked. And if I could get you in earlier, I will surely try to slide you in. Now, if you don't have an Instagram or you prefer not to use your Instagram, you have another option where we can connect for the video chat for your reading. You can use Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to um, download. And if you don't want to keep it afterwards, you can just delete it. It's no problem. You know, the only thing you need to do is download the app again as Google Hangouts and you use my email. That is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, that's scorpionreds at gmail.com calm baby all right and then we'll link up there and, and we're good to go now if you do not um want to get on camera or if you want to recap video if you would like me to record the whole experience and then you know you get a private upload to youtube where you can watch it over and over and over again and keep it forever forever ever forever ever um there is an additional ten dollar fee okay so there's an add-on called video recap so what you would do is, you know, if we're just doing, like I said, the live um, recording, you know, we're just going to do what we normally do. Now, if you don't want to get on camera, book your reading, make sure that you add the video recap on there, and then I would pick Instagram or Google Hangouts because I need to have a platform where I'm going to send you the link to. So um, send me a message on there and be like, hey, I, I ordered the recap, but I just don't want to get on camera. Um, here's my question. And this is what you do. You tell me your question without telling me what's going on around your situation. Because I don't want you guys to be like, but I just told you that, okay? So try to tell me what you want to know without telling me what's going on. And then I'm going to do the recording and, you know, give me 24 hours and you got it. You get me? So we good. So if there's anyone that would like to give love donation to the page, thank you guys so much. I just got a brand new deck called the Tea Leaf, okay? So if there's anyone like, that cross watches for Leo. I did um, a tea leaf in Leo and I did a tea leaf in Pisces. And I'm probably going to double back and do a tea leaf um, fortune read and for uh, the most viewed signs. So, yeah. So, y'all make sure that y'all share, share, share. Click that like button and share so y'all could get a bonus read. Um, and what I was about to say. So, thank you guys so much for. The donations and love. Um, if you would like to send love to the page, of course, my PayPal link is in the description and it's in the about tab as well. And you now have another option where you can send love to the page. Since, you know, only thing I'm doing is buying a whole bunch of decks and equipment anyway, is I have an Amazon wish list now. So if you want to send love that way, you can feel free to do so that way. And thank you guys so much for all of the love because it's made it possible. You see all of these decks. This is because of y'all, all of the love, all of the love that you guys have been sending has just made it possible for this page to continue to grow and for me to be able to continue to put love back into the page. So thank you, thank you so much. And you know I love my Aries with y'all badass. <laughs> Let's see what's popping with Aries. All right. Oh, let's, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something just took my breath. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Father God, please give us guidance. For the sign of Aries, thank you so much for bringing us here today, Father God. Thank you so much for the light of day, for the, 
you know, the cool breeze and the chill of the night, you know, sitting up under the moon, just being able to sit back with our thoughts and, you know, tap into our intuition and figure out what to do and how to process life lessons, Father. We are just like really abundant in just the fact that we just know that we're growing, you know? We just know that we're growing and we're proud within ourselves, Father God. And that's, you know, that's the thing that I think a lot of people miss is just truly loving yourself and doing things that make you feel accomplished. Because a lot of people go out their way to please other people. And you need to be going out of the way to please yourself, to make yourself feel accomplished, to um, check off things on your bucket list. You know what I'm saying? Like, not make it all about you, but truly, you know what I'm saying? Making sure that you're growing, making sure that you're showing yourself that, God damn, I'm proud of you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Every day, how you trying to change, how you trying to work on things, it's showing how much you love you and it's not a reflection on nobody else. It's about self-love. And I feel like that's the thing that a lot of people miss and they mistake self-love for arrogance and it's not that nobody is being arrogant it's like look because if i go up there and i f up then y'all be ready to throw that in my face but when i'm like nah i'm not doing certain things i don't want to participate in this or i don't this this and that or i don't want to do this blah 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 it's me being arrogant or being mean no that's just not for me no more you know I just heard I got to look myself in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about nobody else no more. And I don't think it. And, and you know what? It never was about nobody else. It was always about Aries. But it's, it's, it's just different. Just Things are just different now. Things are just different now. It's about like quality and just having a conscience and being conscious minded and I need things to materialize. I need to see it. I need to see my efforts. And like that's what Aries is focused on. So, Father God, thank you so much for that. Because that is truly a step that a lot of people are missing. And <laughs> I take my hat off to the ones that understand self-love and growth and transformation. Father, thank you so much for... Uh, the stage where we're at with Aries today, you know, we're not trying to be perfect. We just trying to change. And um, thank you so much, Father God. Please continue to give us guidance. Continue to hold our hand. Um, continue to help us pave the way, you know, to our destiny. That's all we asking for. It's just to keep moving. And just to experience every aspect of this journey so that we can continue to pay it forward and maybe help somebody else that is in a predicament, in a position where we were yesterday. So, Father God, thank you so much for Aries. And um, let's give them guidance for the month of May. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the messages in the past, present, and future. Let's see what overall guidance is for you, baby. I'm taking out a day. See, I'm looking next to you. you. I try not to show how I'm feeling. You guys from Aries. I don't want to kiss you. You got into the Aries. Doubt. What is this? Calmness. So, some of y'all need to calm down. <laughs> some of y'all need to calm down. Some of y'all need to calm down just a little bit. And, and um, it seems like, um... Just like offering, like whatever doubt or whatever it is that you're thinking about. I feel like it's not even, it's, it's not like a bad doubt. It's just like, 
you've been sitting down like kind of plotting and planning and trying to figure out and strategize your next move because it's like you want your next move to be your best move you feel what i'm saying so it's like I feel like you might just, the, the doubt might just literally be you just going back and forth in your head, you know what I'm saying, about these options and just maybe just second guessing your strategy a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And the card says, offer it all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. So, you know, you know, I feel like um, Aries is like in a crossroads where they have it. I still feel like it has something to do with the decision that maybe they necessarily didn't see that they, you know, like. How, how do I give? OK, so I want to say like. All right, so you know, like, like, say you come into a big lump sum of money, right? They say it's like some tax money or some shit, right? And like, you had all these plans on like taking that money and saving a portion of it, and then like taking another um, a portion of it and investing it. You know what I'm saying? In in something, right? But you feel like the investment that you were making. It's something that is very new to you and you like learn it from the beginning stage. But because you kind of had that nest egg, you know what I'm saying? And your savings, you felt OK. You know what I'm saying? Because you kind of had a plan and then like some bullshit happened. You know what I'm saying? Like your car break or something happened where it's like, oh, shit. Now I got to go buy a new fucking car. So whereas though in the beginning, like you were all gone whole and even though you knew you was taking the risk by investing this large sum of money in this investment, you know, it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a risk. But if that shit go right and especially the energy that you put into it, you know, you're not going to lose. And you had that nest egg. But now because that nest egg is gone because your shit, something, some, you look, some bullshit arise. You know what I'm saying? Like they said, offering all to the divine doesn't mean that negativity never arises. So I feel like you guys are like, look, I ain't trying to go out here and sell drugs and do all of this shit no more. I'm really trying to do some legit shit. I'm trying to take this money that I got legit and I'm trying to invest it this way. But I feel like bumps in the road keep coming up and it just like throwing doubt on your dream. Like because you don't have that nest egg no more like you kind of scared of investing here and you 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 know what i'm saying and god is like just because like you're changing and and you're trying to go about life in a different way and that's just like someone like that ain't selling drugs ain't hustling no more they trying to go clean you know what i'm saying they trying to go the legit way but fucked up shit just keep happening and make them want to revert back to hustling because they know like shit nigga i just lost motherfucking 10 g's like that shit was like but i know if i just do this nine to five thing that i'm doing it'd take me forever to get that i gotta wait till next tax season to get that money again but i can go out on the block for like a smooth ass couple weeks i can make that shit like it's nothing you know what i'm saying and it's just like <laughs> don't don't let life situations just because you change you try and go about things a different way don't let that shit rile you up you see what i'm saying because i feel like it's wow goddamn burn <laughs> that shit riling you up you see what i'm saying and it's like spirit is trying to tell you who to like don't don't be in doubt because doubt will have you like thinking negatively and it may rile you up <laughs> you see what i'm saying but well, you're not thinking of things with a level-headed calm mind you know so you can make right decisions and it's like you know what i'm saying we're offering all to the divine it doesn't mean that you're not gonna go through bumps in the road and honestly it's like a test you see what i'm saying so don't let the bumps in the road burden you with put it places doubt on your dreams and everything that you work so hard for that just something that quick can make you easily revert back to something that you work so hard to get away from you know what i'm saying father god please restore you know what i'm saying aries faith and confidence because you're going to get it done 
You're going to get it done. You just got to calm down and think with shit with a level-headed uh, level headed mind because you just feel like shit just out to get you because just boom, 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 boom. But God ain't going to send you nothing that you can't handle, Aries. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't they test? Is Aries going to get all hot-headed and just start motherfucking doing the same shit? Like, do you got to, you, you got, you got to, Peep game, you understand what I'm saying? Life is like a stage. Do you feel what I'm saying? You got to know your role in the part of the play. And once you know exactly what your role is, you got to figure out the other players on the stage and figure out what their whole, their whole position is in the whole story. Because you know you're going to win at the end of the day, but you don't know who your friends, who your enemies. See, see, that's the thing about stage plays. Shit ain't never what the fuck it seems. You see what I'm saying? So you got to just know your role. And once you know your role, you got to understand that situations, you got to understand how play play out. It, it's, it always got to have a climax and a, a hero and a villain. and a da, da, da. Like you got you, 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 you get this. You see what I'm saying? You got to be smooth pimping here. You got to be smooth pimping. You understand? You got it. All right. So it says the inner divine is. Is all is the it says the inner divine is witness of all, remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and say, "Quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over again." It's about peace. Be still. Peace. Be still. Don't let when bullshit pop off. Don't let it knock you off your square. Don't let that shit cast no doubt in you and knock you off your square. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you get me? God want to show you that you can get that shit done without no motherfucking that's it. Because you a fucking hustler. You a grinder. Why you think you can survive out there in the streets like that? You understand? Because you a savage hustler. You go and get it. And I'm not saying in a savage in a bad way. I'm just saying like a grind. You know like how how people talk about how Tupac, his work ethic is. You know what I'm saying? Just like a beast. You going, God, God showing you your strength. You ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? Just just chill out. Again, I'm going I'm to read this. The inner divine is the witness of all. Remaining still. Quiet. Even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over. Quiet your thoughts. You understand what I'm saying? I feel, you know, I feel like y'all are getting all. <laughs> you feel me, Aries? All right. So, yes. We ain't even get into the read and all like that yet. Shit, but that was just a lot right there. But, I, you know. Look, you don't even need that. Whatever that, that whatever it is, you don't even need that. Like you, you about to still go out here and get it. You know what I'm saying? By any means necessary, we we have not come this far, you know, to lose. I will not lose. Okay. What is this? The Queen of Swords. All right. The uh oh, oh okay. The, <laughs> the the Three of Swords. The judgment in reverse. All right, guarding yourself. All right, all right. Yeah, it's a lot of guarding. It's a lot of guarding. You're guarding yourself as you're closing. You're just going through. I feel like y'all are having a hard time mentally processing heartbreak and like. I feel like y'all y'all feel like some pe some people out to get you. Y'all really feel like somebody's out to get y'all or some shit like that. Like you're under attack or some shit like that. So, this is what it's boiling down to. Because this, this has something to do with matters of the heart. But I don't necessarily think that that has to do with matters of the heart. But that's just the over general... I feel like what I just said in regards to those cards up there has most definitely um, something to do with someone's life purpose and not what matters of the heart. This is matters of the heart right here. 
But this can also be dealing with some work things too because it's the Ace of Pentacles. Because I feel like that, that someone is um, heartbroken because they don't forgive somebody. Like, I feel like someone feels like they're, on, they're under attack at their at they workplace. You see what I'm saying? Like, and it just, it might be paranoia because, like, the swords haven't pierced the heart yet. So, I don't feel like they've actually truly experienced this heartbreak yet. You know what I'm saying? Because they're just thinking that it's going to happen or something like that. And they're guarding they're protecting themselves. And, like, like, vigorously. You see what I'm saying? They're protecting and their God and their self from like being stabbed in the back and betrayal you see what I'm saying they're they're protecting themselves from heartbreak and betrayal that I don't even think has happened yet I feel like this is something that's all in their mind but not necessarily I'm okay so anyway let me start from the beginning so Aries I've I feel like it's kind of being very um, cold and distant right now with a few people because especially my female Aries because um, they had to put their sword down and, and crown themselves and kind of had to adjust themselves on their throne and remember who the fuck they are. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Hove, H to the O-V. I used to move slow face by the O-Z. You feel what I'm saying? And even back then they used to call me H-O-V Hove, okay? So allow me to reintroduce myself and just, you know, adjust my crown real quick because um I think I feel like this this this, this queen of swords, you know, she 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 knows enough. She's wise enough to put her sword down cuz her reflexes are very quick. You feel what I'm saying? Like she she has done enough cleaning and cutting. I feel like she went through her yard and her garden and she took that sword and she like cut down a whole bunch of vines and trees and shit that's in her yard. I feel like she had a whole bunch of overgrown weeds and like, you know, you see them nasty vines that be growing up on the side of your house and stuff like that. Just something just trying to attach itself to, you know, a sturdy foundation. No, she, ah, I can't see like the front of my landscape i can't see who's driving in front of my house like i need to in order for me to be able to make wise decisions and be clear-minded stuff i need to be able to see and survey all of my land bitch you see what i'm saying i need to see what's coming i need to be mentally prepared for what's coming so i do i do however want to say that there might be someone that might be like you might be kind of about to manifest some heartbreak because I feel like someone is so fixated on protecting itself by any means necessary from any potential heartbreak because they are just not forgiving a situation from the past and I feel like they are not like moving on from it you see what I'm saying like they're still living in that heartbreak where those daggers from what happened back then have, have already been removed and they're so fearful in their mind. It's almost like mental torment <laughs> because they won't forgive this person from what happened in the past. It's like uh, they're almost about to manifest this shit in their future. So I feel like spirit is coming down to help you to readjust your crown and like put down whatever the fuck that is that you've been thinking. You see what I'm saying? Because... Be careful of what you're constantly thinking about because you can manifest it. You see what I'm saying? You have to learn how to forgive people, not for them, but for you so that you can move on. Because I do feel like, I do feel like Aries, that you might be blocking your blessings because you are living like you're nursing this unforgiving heart. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's an unforgiving heart, like seriously. And you feel like people are out to get you. Like you just out here and there's a whole bunch of big bad wolves and things like that. Like out like like you're on attack. You feel you feel like you're I mean, you're guarding yourself from anybody. You know what I'm saying? In the event that something like this will happen. And you are like paranoid where you think that people are hiding in the bushes just waiting to get you. And I just I don't even think that that's the situation at all. Like I don't think anyone is trying to get you. 
I don't think that anyone is trying to get you, but you being like this, you being like this, you 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 being so guarded mentally and physically is blocking your is blocking your creativity. You being able to really do accurate planning into the future so shit can just get where it needs to go. Cause how can shit get to where it needs to go if it can't reach you because you so guarded? You feel like everyone is out to get you. Um, anyone that come near you, you like, bitch, like, you know, <laughs> like, on guard, like, you just like, hold on, like, you know, I feel like you are tired of having to defend yourself and trying to, like, commit yourself and hold on and, like, battle for shit that you are, you approach every situation like it's going to be a battle like that, you see what I'm saying? And I, and I feel like you're tired of that, but yet you don't even know how to not be defensive like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? But there is an Aries most definitely like you're manifesting heartbreak because I don't even see that anyone is even around to break your heart. This is all like illusional shit that's in your head. You see what I'm saying? And you living in a past situation because you're not forgiving a situation in the past. And it's like this is like the tell of an unforgiving heart. And God is telling you to, like, put down that shit that you've been thinking and you've been consuming your mind with. And you need to adjust your crown and get your thinking and shit together. Cut down them weeds and them old vines and shit that's all around your house. Get your foundation clean. You know what I'm saying? Cleansliness is the next thing to godliness. Clean your environment so that you can see straight, so that you can think straight. You see what I'm saying? Please give me guidance for the sign of Aries. And this is an Aries woman doing this. I don't feel like... I feel like the Aries men, you guarding yourself from a whole bunch of bullshit and gossip and, and people just trying to judge you, thinking that they... Just a whole bunch of people with their own thoughts about who the fuck you are and their own opinions and shit like that. Like, bitch, I would smack the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? Don't be coming over here talking all that bullshit to me, telling me about what you think about my situation. So this is the Aries men. They feel like they got a whole bunch of people, got a whole bunch of shit to say and not a whole bunch of shit to back it up because I will fuck you up out this joint on God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Aries is like, man, what y'all like for real? I don't even need no sticks. I will, I will like, little, little beast, I will choke you out with my bare hands out this joint. I am not scared of you. I don't have many battles. I'm not playing with y'all. Keep my name out your mouth. It's somebody. It's a whole bunch of people. It ain't somebody. It's like 10 of them people that Aries just feel like they just walking back and forth, walking back and forth on their land. Just like, man, y'all bitches going to stop playing with me. Like you almost waiting like like the Aries men is waiting for somebody to jump out there because they just know people is back there with their own thoughts and opinions in the bushes just waiting to jump out there and Aries is waiting for you you know what I'm saying but at the same time Aries I want to tell you that you know what I'm saying you just having that mindset like almost waiting for people like expecting people to do this you are manifesting drama you see what I'm saying you're manifesting drama Peace be still. Like, clean your mind. Clean your mind. You know what I'm saying? And clean your environment. You need to get away from these people because that's blocking, that's blocking, like, of the really solid, true, new foundation that you really want. You know what I'm saying? It's blocking you being able to bring this money and just everything that you really want. And you feel like everything is just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel like you feel powerless right now. You feel powerless. And... You know what I'm saying? And because I feel like your way of kind of taking your power back is kind of just, you know, to temptation. Yeah. But this fell out first. Emotional loss. Yeah, you feel you feel a lack of power right now. And then with that. With you going through this emotional loss and everything, you feeling this lack of power and all of this thing like that. I feel like, you know, eight take away five, that's three. I feel like your self-expression and your creativity is like being blocked right now. And so is you being able to like be able to effectively communicate with people right now. So I feel like you just 
<laughs> you just don't got no energy right now. You know what I'm saying? You not let you don't have no energy right now to continue to keep trying to communicate and get people to understand where you're coming from, how you're feeling. I feel like people are not respecting your feelings and the losses and the, and the, and the things that you went through. And you don't have no energy keep trying to like you just don't have no energy for it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like your imagination is taking rampant. Whereas though, yeah, these things are going on. But I don't think that things are as bad as it seems. It's just you are in this really aggressive mode to try to like, like you can't keep calm. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to, you know, like your temptations is urging, is, is raging right now. And I need... For my Aries, like, if y'all be indulging in any type of thing like that, do not, and I'm going to repeat, because I think I've had to tell y'all this before, do not let this drama that I really think is all in your head, I'm not saying that it's all all in your head, because it's clearly around. It's around in your energy, but I don't think it's as bad as you're making it seem. I feel like you always feel like you're on an attack. You're the victim. Like, Nothing has even happened. Nothing has happened. But it's like, no, but you don't understand because niggas beat this, this, and that. But what happened, though? Nothing happened yet? Okay, so stop talking and stop living your life like something about to happen. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like that's like a negative trait right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a negative trait. And you got to get out of that. You got to get out of that because that's your downfall. And I feel like that's how. That's how. To, I don't want to say that. But like that's how the devil pulls at you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you be reaching for the light. And it's like the devil pulls at you. Be like, uh-uh. Let me put all these negative thoughts and this, you know, anxiety and, 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 and panic and all of this shit. And these bad thoughts. And you know what I'm saying? Let, let me make your car break down. Let me do. Because I know Aries is going to, you know. Go slip back and be. You see, and you can't, you can't allow that because you don't need those things to still progress and go forward. You really have to change your mindset. Yeah, foundations and, and achievements. You really have to change your mindset because your third. I mean, what is this? This is your um, your third eye chakra, like. You've been awoken. You know very much so that you you know your temptations. You know your limits. You you know. You see what I'm saying? Like it's not like Aries don't know their temptations and how it affects their foundations and achievements. They know it. You see what I'm saying? So it's like being able to have that power that even when you're going through emotional losses. You know, to be able to balance your temptations and not give in to them and not allowing it to affect your foundations, you know, that's being triumphant. And I, and I really do feel like, I feel like there's a lot of, I feel like those people in the bushes that um, Aries is trying to protect their self, um, that's that, those, those people are those temptations, like. And I feel like Aries is trying to um, separate themselves from these people because, yeah, heartache and loss. I feel like every time they kind of get mixed up with these individuals, they go through like a big tower moment or something. They go through like some crazy ass shit where they end up having to take an emotional loss. It's like a step, a setback. Like they be moving tri triumphantly, like they, they galloping. You know what I'm saying? Aries a fire sign. They get shit popping. When they say they getting shit done, they getting shit done. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, then these people, they come with all these ideas and all of this shit. Oh, why don't you come on, Aries, let's do this, let's do this. And then everybody's like, nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do this. And then, nah, you know what I'm saying? You know, you my nigga, blah, 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 blah. And then Aries go do some shit, and then something fuck up what happened. Something fucked up what happened that will, where so they would be in triumphant, a heartache. Again, they go that number three again. A heartache again. It'll, it'll affect it. It'll affect shit. Where it's like, I feel like they're not able to communicate with people. It messes up with their energy. They don't want to talk to people no more. And 
it's hard for Aries to process some type of truth and understanding about situations. And everything that they were working for, it just kind of vanishes. Like that whole wish fulfillment, everything that they were building up, they were galloping towards, it just fades away. And I feel like they just feel like they just keep getting kicked backwards. And that's like breaking Aries' heart. And I feel like they tired to keep going through this shit. And that's why they so on on guard. Like they so on guard right now. Cause they feel powerless right now. They just like, man, I'm tired of all this bad shit happening to me. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to tell you is Aries, a lot of this shit you're manifesting. You're bringing it to yourself because of your thinking. You got to change the inside in order for the outer world to adjust itself to you. You know what I'm saying? Your thoughts and your negative thinking and you always feeling like someone out to get you someone doing something more. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a, someone did something to you where you got this unforgiving heart where it's like you always have this kind of negative, pessimistic outlook on life and look on things where you always feeling like someone because you're so smart you know what i'm saying it's like i gotta be smarter than them i gotta be you know a, a, a step ahead of them so it's like you always you just need to be still and you just need to rest and enjoy your foundations and your achievements and shit that you got right now and and and, and stop feeding into stop feeding into that beast that that you got to control your thoughts, baby. Because you are manifesting all of the wish fulfillment, everything that you... It's like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And and don't be um offended by me saying this, but it could possibly... I really did hear like there might be someone who suffers from bipolar. You know what I'm saying? They might possibly be bipolar. And um, you might need to go and... Or schizo schizophrenic or something like that. Um, you might need to go in, and, and please do not be offended. And I don't want to hear nobody talking shit in my comments because I'm saying this from a very serious place of love. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not making light. I'm not making joke of this. I really genuinely feel like very high and very low, very high and very low. Like that's just what I was just feeling. And when I first started talking, I didn't feel it, but I just felt that just now. So there's someone in this group that might already know that they suffer from bipolar or um, some type of, you know, something. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like, like, that's the thing that where they feel like they have this lack of power because it's like their mind. You know what I'm saying? And you can just go... And talk to somebody. Because you never know how confident it may be. Just getting a counselor. And just really sitting back. And talking to them about. What's going on in your head all the time. Because they can teach you how to process that shit. And don't think that there's something wrong with you. That you don't. Um, trust me these people. They are trained professionals. They deal with this all the time. They deal with extreme cases. You see what I'm saying. So if they can help them. They can help you and just. The little bit that you're experiencing. Because I don't feel like this is like on no major scale. But. Or you know what I'm saying. I just feel like. And if it's not something that is like a clinical. Imbalance. It's just someone may just need to sit down. And talk to someone. Professionally and adjust their crown. You know what I'm saying. That's all. They just need to sit down with someone. To kind of get their thoughts. Their thoughts out. I feel like there's someone that needs to really talk to someone. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Because I don't really see too much of your chakras being off balance. The only thing that's off balance is your heart chakra in regards to you not being able to experience the wish fulfillment. But there's a lot of emotional loss and heartache and, and stuff here that needs to be in temptation. It's like a lot of urges that you battle with inside that you, you you just need to talk to somebody so i really don't because y'all know how people be in the comments and if y'all see somebody down in the comments acting stupid can y'all just yeah y'all handle that for me okay because <laughs> for real y'all the people that really watch me and that know me y'all know that i'm coming from a place of love so like don't 
I'm one of y'all just don't. So um, Aries is saying to the person that they're dealing with, um, or that's on their mind, that this person is on their mind. I don't think that they're dealing with this person at all. I think this person is on their mind. They're saying, um, you still take my breath away. So, give me, and I want to say, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, like, please do not, do not get offended. But I really do want to say that um, this, it might be an Aries woman, whoever this, you know, this Aries woman that is going through all of this mental stuff. I want to say that some of this temptation, this devil card right here is, 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 is like obsession. You know what I'm saying? It's obsession not able to process and not able to not saying that they're obsessing like on no crazy psycho level it's like they're just obsessing over the heartbreak and everything that they went through and they have triumphed and they have moved past a lot of things but however they think about and they obsess about what happened in the past so much that they have this unforgiving heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? They have a cold heart because they need to process these things that they've been going through. And it, ca and it causes a lot of doubt in their life. And that's why a lot of things have been happening because this person is like... You know what I'm saying? Like, they have a lot of highs and a lot of lows. A lot of highs and a lot of lows. They accomplish a lot. But then, when they go low, like, they go low. You know? And I feel like, on a high level, like, you guys really need to go and process this heartbreak and this betrayal or whatever happened. Because... You just need to process it. Because... Like, there's light at the end of that tunnel. Like, if you could just get past this thinking, like, I swear, like, your blessings is going to be kicking in. Like, you, you got to change your thinking. Because this, this unforgiving heart has cast a negative spell over your whole life. Because you have this unforgiving heart. And this is an Aries female energy. Because I don't, I feel like the, the Aries men is, like, about their friends and just people in their business and shit. They need to mind their fucking business. It says it's really hard for me to open up. So this Aries is telling me that it's really hard for them to open up to people to kind of really express what's really going on in their head. I really feel like they don't want to let people know what they really be thinking in their head for real. Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. Okay? So even though Aries doesn't show it, um, they're really sorry. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately, okay? So I feel like Aries has been processing. They've been learning lesson. I miss the feel of you next to me, all right? And, that, yeah, like I said, I do feel like Aries just has been thinking almost obsessively about everything. Give me guidance about what the person that Aries is dealing with or is on Aries' mind. How they feel towards Aries. How does the person that Aries is dealing with or that's on Aries' mind feel towards Aries? Thank you so much. Thank you. How does this person feel towards Aries? Thank you. How does this person feel towards Aries? I just wasn't ready for you. They wasn't ready for you. I want to be authentic and I'm no longer afraid. I feel like this person wasn't ready for this type of commitment. You know what I'm saying? And they just want to be them and they're not going to. I feel like they wasn't going to commit themselves in a situation where they know it just wasn't them. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably the best thing because I don't want nobody with me and and. and you trying to act like you really want to be with me, but you a dog for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, please spare me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they wanted to be their authentic self. And maybe being their authentic self is off doing whatever the hell they're doing. It says lying was just easy for me than telling the truth. 
You know what I'm saying? So they say no other compares to you though. We will be together again. We will be together again. So like this person knows that they they know that they was yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Aries came down like Batman, Fat Man on their ass. Was like, what, bitch? What? What do you say, Mo? Yeah, like Aries don't listen. They don't be for it. They do not be for it. So give me guidance in regards to this situation and this love situation going on with Aries. Gray area, depressed, detached, unemotional. You in this like gray area in your life. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that. Like you really got to overcome this mountain right now. Because, you know, this doubt and this calmness being in reverse. Is where it is. I mean, that definitely. I feel like y'all give too much energy and y'all giving a situation that you really shouldn't too much thought. And, it, and it's messing up you. Yeah. Y'all are focused on a promise. You know what I'm saying? It's like something that you... A diamond. I'm I'm, fine, I'm feeling like it's a commitment. You depressed over a commitment. Someone that you might, might have been engaged to. Or hourglass. And time is slipping. Like, times are wasting. You know? Time is slipping, but you still... You know, focused on this love because, you know, you want it there to be like safe passage where, you know what I'm saying? Where y'all could just kind of move forward in this love. Was there something I flipped over? Feathers. You just, you need protection. Peace. This is spiritual realm. Well, <sighs> all right. So let me tell y'all what I just pulled out because I just like. I have to be very detailed in this message because I, I have to try to help. You know what I'm saying? I have to try to help. So, basically, what I just got here is, like, you guys are in, a, like, a state of depression. Y'all are, like, in a gray area in your life. Y'all are, like, heavily focused on a commitment, something that was promised to you. You think you should have should be promised to you and you just feel like time's wasting time's slipping in regards to the situation you're you're still in very much in love with this person and you want just like a sign of protection and safe passion safe passage that like you know like things will be okay and you can move forward and they can just like be some protection and peace surrounding this you know, love situation. You see? You just you just want things to be able to move forward, you know? But um I feel like there's orbs of light. Like I I feel like you too busy kind of focusing on trying to find some peace and looking for protection in this situation. And I don't think that you're really getting a divine message because this is like, what is this? Spiritual realm, orbs of light. I feel like there is like a spiritual message that you're not getting about this whole situation. Yeah, the eyes. Like, you got to focus on the eyes of a person. Like, when they're talking to you, like, what they're saying. You see what I'm saying? Like, it'll truly reveal to you what's going on. I feel like you're not getting the spiritual message behind this situation. Um, and I feel like that there is going to be peace. And that you, you are going to be protected. And that you are going to have safe passage. And that you are going to experience love. But what you got to understand is that 
time is wasted and that you got to give that promise to yourself you're the diamond you see what i'm saying you have to get yourself out of this gray area so that you can really see those orbs of light and those spiritual messages because right now what is this saying yeah the knife this is in the reverse like right now i feel like you're refusing to suffer something that doesn't need to be in your life and like that's the thing that spirit is trying to reveal to you but you know what i'm saying like you really gotta get this you really gotta get this it's just certain things that you gotta cut off and then that that's also what um that's also what what the queen of the queen of uh Swords representing cutting shit out of your life that don't that you know in your mind don't no longer serve you. But you gotta be able to see that and you gotta be able to see the messages. You know what I'm saying? And spirit is trying to tell you they're trying to help you see that you gotta cut this out in order to really get the peace and protection and the safe passage and the true love and the promise that you want. You you have to you have to cut this person off. You have to stop thinking that y'all gonna reconnect. You have to sever those thoughts of reconnection and you got to like move past this shit so if it's someone that is like dwelling 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 on reconnecting with someone you have to suffer that you have to sever that because that is like it, it, I, I feel, that's why i said the bipolar it's like someone that okay that's just like in the comments one day i had to like kind of tell someone Repeat what they were saying to me so they could hear how crazy that they sound. They say, uh, yeah, I just talked to my ex. I just talked to my, my twin flame. God, I hate, I hate that. I talked to my twin flame. Why do y'all want to talk to someone that treats y'all like shit? I don't get it, but whatever. Y'all hold on to that. I ain't subscribing to that shit. Let me reel it back in and get off my soapbox, like Jane Caldwell said. Anyway, so this person says to me, he says, yeah, I just spoke to my twin, and I cussed this motherfucker out because this, this person still ain't changed, right? And then going to double back right after they say that and say, but I feel really bad about it. I, um, do you think that he's going to come back? I hope I didn't um, 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 fuck things up. Like, for good, me cussing him out like that this morning. Do you think he's going to come back? And I said, ma'am, now you just sat there and told me, now I know this person, and because we speak to each other, or now I know this person through the comments and me reading their comments, so I kind of know of their situation. So I said, now, ma'am, after all of this shit that this person has done to you and treated you, and you finally bossed up and you took your power back, and this person finally comes back, and you finally hand them their ass to kiss. But now you sit up here sobbing. First you was in your power. Right? First you was up here. But then just like that, you drop back down. Feeling low. Groveling. Like, oh, but do you think I fucked up? Do you think he's coming back? Like, what? how the fuck you go from here? And then, like, come on. Like, what the fuck? That doesn't make sense. You see what I'm saying? So it's like. You got an unforgiving heart because of the situation, but you want the situation. Like, that's what I'm getting. You see what I'm saying? And you're not going to find no peace. Like, you're not going to mentally get strong and, like, get better until you sever this type of connection right here. It says, rapid soul development comes from challenging times. Do you see what I'm saying? You get me? So, it's like, you, you're going through this shit right now to get you to... Listen, you're going through this rainstorm right now. And I don't feel like no one's around but you. you it's like a personal rainstorm. I don't think this person has anything to do with it. Because I don't even think this person is around anymore. I don't think no one is even attacking you. It's about your thoughts and your thought process. Because you're manifesting danger to you. You know what I'm saying? And you need to be this yellow sunflower. Confidence. And there's sunflowers right here on this doubt card. Confidence, success, happiness, optimism. You need to be here with it. You know what I'm saying? Right after this. After you get over the storm. You know what I'm saying? And 
let go of dominance. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to control everything. You know? Calm down. Calm down. You feel me? You got to calm down. One, one, one. This was in the reverse, though. You're a magical creator. Your thoughts are the beginning of manifestations. But you don't have nothing but negative thoughts. So you're doing nothing but attracting all of those negative thoughts that you constantly dwelling on into your life. And then you're wondering why everything is so bad. you putting too much doubt out into the universe. You understand? You need to get your heart together. And then another thing is, it's like, you got to think about the music that you're listening to. The music that you're listening to could possibly be toxic as well. Because you, you pump a negative shit into your heart. I really do feel like on a strong level, the music you're listening to is negative. The heart, uh, the, your, uh, you just have this unforgiving heart. Your thoughts are just like scrambled. It's, 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 you're not forgiving anyone. And you're not moving forward. You're just walking around on guard. Just, you know what I'm saying? And you got to, like, blow the flame out on that shit. Like, that's what you need to work towards. It's blowing the flame out on that negative thought process. Eternity. Yeah, because it's like you don't want to be stuck in this mindset and being like this for an eternity, man. Look at his face. Like, you know I love my Batman, Fat Man, but, like, come on. You don't want to be, like, in that energy. Like, think about Batman, Fat Man. The way he looking, do he really look like he be giving off good energy? For real, for real? But this is my Fat Man. I love my Batman, Fat Man. <laughs> this is my favorite little fat stuff. This is my fat stuff. I love my Batman, Fat Man. That's why I be trying to love on Batman, Fat Man. Because I want him to stop looking so mean all the time. You ain't got to come off like this all the time, Batman. You just need to find some love. You need to, First, you need to get it within yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta love yourself. You got to cleanse that mind, that thinking, man. That's loving on yourself, cleaning the inside. Cleaning the house starts with the inside of the house, not the outside of the house. You can buy all the fancy clothes. You know what I'm saying? Put all them guard gnomes and shit out there if you want to. It ain't gonna mean nothing if you your inside of your house look like a fucking hoarder's den. A hoarder's den of negative thoughts. The will of fortune in the reverse. Yeah, that's why ain't nothing but negative. You you attracting it to you. Temperance. You gotta balance your faith. You gotta get that hope back. You gotta refill yourself with that spiritual wellness. You see what I'm saying? You need some spiritual wellness. The Queen of Cups. Yeah. You need to like. Spiritual cleansing. You need to be more. In touch with your emotions. You know what I'm saying. You need to be calm. You need to be. Just like. Really loving to yourself. I, I'm really getting spiritual cleanse. You need to like. Seriously. Spiritual cleanse. All right, three. Yeah, you need to listen. Your heartbreak. Yeah. And the Queen of Cups next to some heartbreak, baby, that ain't good. But at least she's in the upright. You see what I'm saying? At least she's still loving and 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 committed and mothering and and things like that. But it's like you, you need to clean your heart up. You need to clean up your heart, baby. It ain't bringing you nothing but misfortune. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Your heart is focused on this broken home. And Ten of Swords. Yeah. You need to, like, get over continuously thinking about how you've been betrayed in regards to this and you need to finally close this chapter and it's time for that fortune to move in your favor um Aries it's time for that fortune to move in your favor you gotta you gotta like clean this shit up and it's no one around I don't even feel like it's no one doing anything it should have been some shit that happened five years ago and it's like no one's still harboring this shit yeah, that's probably nothing happening to them because 
they cast in doubt into their existence. Give Aries guidance for oh May. What is it saying? You need to let go of vengefulness. I wanted to say that earlier when I seen that knife card. I really do feel like some of y'all been having some really crazy ass thoughts and y'all need to go seek some help. Like seriously, some of y'all need some help. Mm-hmm. You put that mask on and you try to cover up. I really do feel like there's somebody. <laughs> I don't know who this is. And they want me to be quiet about this shit. Like, for real, for real. Like, because I'm telling somebody's tea. Somebody that's watching this. Or have somebody that one of y'all are dealing with. Somebody's energy that I'm picking up on. Like... You be having some really fucked up thoughts. And it's like you, you, and I really do feel like you don't really want me telling and talking about this shit. But, like, you be having some really, really fucked up thoughts about things that you might be wanting to do to people. About some shit that happened in the past. And it's like one minute you don't want this person. And the next minute you want this person. And you still, like... You still be living in this this heartbreak, and it's making you like a very. I'm concerned about your thoughts, and it's like you wear a mask with people because you don't want people to see like the treacherous thoughts, this shit that you have inside. You know, like I really do get this, man. This is some like deep shadow work shit here. Like I feel. Look. Hear no evil, uh, speak no evil, see no evil, think no evil. Like, I really feel like this is a battle, you know what I'm saying, that y'all kind of going through. And I feel like you you trying to silence your brain. Like, you just, it's like I, you wish that this shit would just sh shut off almost. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. And I feel like, you know, like, like people be trying to tell you, like, you need to go seek help and shit. Like, I really, whoever this fuck this is, somebody be trying to, a lot of people. And I feel like that's why y'all, some of y'all feel like all these people hiding in the bushes here. Thinking that they know something, that they know what's best for you, that they can tell you what to do. Like, this person is like all these people thinking that they know me. You know, and I feel like you not really listening to the warning of these people that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to go and talk to somebody, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. Because it's just like, it's just not healthy thinking. It's just not healthy thinking and we want you guys to. And the thing is, it's like, I really do feel like seriously that these people, they're not trying to hurt you. Everything like they really do love you and ain't nobody saying that you crazy or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody saying that shit. But at the same time, like... Aries, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Whoever this is for, you know what I'm saying? And I do feel like on a strong level that there is somebody that's watching this. I hear them saying, no, you're right. That's exactly how that motherfucker be acting. I do feel like that person, like, you know... Like, I wonder what the fuck be going on in this person's head sometimes, like... Yeah, like this person always spazzing on people, or always got, always on the defense, always got something smart coming out of their mouth, always feeling like someone trying to hurt them or something, like super dumb paranoid, an unforgiving heart, and it's like, this is not the energy that I got, like, before, like, this is someone that got, like, some deep shit that they need to work on. And they're alone a lot of the time. I don't feel like they have a lot of people around them. And I feel like the people that they do have around them is their family and friends. And they're so guarded and protected from what they have to say in their judgments on their life that they seclude themselves from them. So I feel like this person is alone a lot. And they're so alone... And they've secluded themselves so much that only thing that they're left to do is to sit there and think, 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 think. But they think of the worst. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they're so fucking paranoid because 
they're alone so much. The only thing they do is like have this pessimistic thinking about like what may happen in the future and how they and what they would do. It's like that vengeful card is like, oh, if someone come at me like this, I'm a I'm a do this, so I'm gonna do that. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? So it's like that's the only thing they be doing is plotful, vengeful thinking about what if situations. You see what I'm saying? And then they're not even realizing that they manifest in these what if situations and they get mad that they keep going through these situations, but only thing you thinking about is what if. You know what I'm saying? So, Muse, like it's time for you to like paint a new perfect picture, okay, and love unawakened like I really do feel like you not like you know that you people be trying to help you you don't want it you don't want it you want to be in this way and when people try to help you you pull your knife out on them and you act like you about to attack them so that's why everybody be like all right cool like I ain't fucking with you wouldn't be like that you know what I'm saying you unawakened but you want to be admired like you want to be admired and I feel like you need to have patience with yourself and you need to release shit that you ain't trying to release. You can't have both worlds. Either you're going to do the work and then we're going to rock with you and we're going to continue to try to help you and we're going to bring on greatness or you're not and you're going you gonna to stay alone. Straight like that. Because the way this shit is looking is like even the people that's been trying to help you, they hiding in the bushes because they feel like you're going to attack them. Like don't nobody want to be around nobody like that. Don't nobody want to be around someone with a scorn heart. And, you know, the Queen of Swords, she is like a loner. She don't have a husband. She don't have no kids or nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, like, Spirit is trying to come down to you and tell you, like, stop all of that harshness and that coldness. Put that shit down and put your crown on. Get your, get your brain together. Get your mind together. You see what I'm saying? Give Aries... And, I, and, and you know what? For all my normal Aries watchers, like, I don't even want y'all to take this energy because I really don't feel like this is addressed towards y'all. I feel like this is addressed towards some specific people. So if this energy does not resonate with you, do not take what do not resonate with you. You know what I'm saying? And this can be an Aries man, too. You know what I'm saying? But do not take what doesn't resonate with y'all and y'all know the energy could be vice versa so this could be what you're dealing with as an Aries from someone you see what I'm saying so give me guidance in regards to the future for Aries what we need to focus on <laughs> they got them tender oh the nine of swords yeah you need to release all of these pessimistic just I feel like it's like you you in your head too much and you 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 give yourself nightmares with your thinking you know what I'm saying and you need to stop being so paranoid all the time thinking about all of this shit so you don't manifest it into reality here go another nine and nine of challenges once you release that and you get your mind together you'll you'll be more fulfilled you know what I'm saying yeah, you be more fulfilled once you let go of shit that ain't serving. You don't have no value in your life. These thoughts don't have no value in your life. They're not doing nothing but holding back your life. You understand? So you got to release that doubt and calm down. You know what I'm saying? You got to release that doubt and like truly calm down. It says again, the inner divine is a witness to all. So <laughs> I'm going to repeat that. The inner divine is a witness of all, remaining still and quiet even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your powerful and peaceful calm take over. Do you hear me? You need to be calm. Peace be still. Take a cleansing bath. Cleanse yourself. You hear me? Take some. You can take some baking soda, some Epsom salt, some Himalayan sea salt. Um, you can put like some uh, lemon wedges in there, some flower petals. Use some little lavender, um, some lavender um, 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 essential oil or whatever type of essential oil you want. 
first before you you getting that cleansing bath. First thing you do before you do that is you cleanse, you take a shower and you scrub yourself top to bottom. You wash your hair and everything. Your whole body needs to be clean. You need to completely sanitize your whole bathroom top to bottom. I mean, hands on your knees, scrubbing all around the toilet basin, everything, everything pristine, clean. Cleansliness is the next thing next to godliness. Clean. Open up your window. Sage all four corners. Remove all, any negative energy. Um, and just say, dear Lord, um, thank you so much. Please help me cleanse my environment. I'm clean. Um, please cleanse the energy in my environment. Um, please release any negative energy, any negative thoughts, any impurities. I'm opening up the door for love, light, prosperity, self-love, and abundance. And you open up the window and you let all of that negativity flow out. You understand? You pour your bath. You can turn the, you know, you can do it at midnight or whenever the hell you want to do it. I like to do it at night. You know what I'm saying? Cause I like to get me like some tea candles. You know, get you get you guys some tea candles. Light that shit. Now don't light it around where your hair and stuff gonna be and light your hair on fire. But you can just light them up, up around your sink. You know what I'm saying? And as you can see, it got the little foil and stuff, so you good. You know what I'm saying? You just light you some like light seven tea candles around your sink so you can have like a glowing light. Turn on some soothing, calming music and just like just do a soak and like. Dip your whole body in there. Because your, your your hair is is the closest thing to your brain. You see what I'm saying? So it's very, very important that you cleanse your hair too. Because that will help purify, you know? So, doubt. Offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will to restore my faith and confidence. So Aries, this has been your reading. I send love and light to you. And just know this too shall pass. This too shall pass. You just got to do some inner work. And the one thing I can't say that the blessing is about this shit. At least ain't nobody in your environment that is like impeding the process. Like you have everything that you need to get this done you know what i'm saying the only thing you need is you is putting down those thoughts and adjusting your crown all right i love you aries if y'all want to book a reading follow the instruction in the beginning i'll talk to y'all later peace